Okay, what does this say? A frat cannon. What? <laughs> We have fun here. Hey, all you people, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Thirsty Thursdays, where we talk about things we th think about when we're trying to sleep. Talk about the, yes, I haven't even had a sip of alcohol yet, so let's get started on that. What are you having? I am having some $6 whiskey, I'm pretty sure. It's Evan Williams Apple Whiskey. Who is he? <clears throat> this is a car video and also a miniature bartending class. So we have Paola Mahoney, Classic peach bellini mixer. That might be so expired. So I'll just do a splash of this. It's been open forever, but it says expires next month, so. Oh, better use it now. So a splash of that. And then we've got our magic ingredient here. Everclear. <laughs> Cause I don't have anything else. See, see how much has gone out of here? Is it bad that most of this is from me sanitizing my hands after hitting the gas station? <laughs> Legit. Which is probably against the law, but if you get stopped, you could just say I was using it as hand sanitizer. I'm just like, officer, smell my hands. And he's like, <laughs> you can go. But it works. <laughs> it does work, right? Yeah. 151 proof. I know the topic of today's episode. She does not. Nervous. <laughs> I compiled a list of car lingo. Oh! Um, I'm talking acronyms, slang. I don't know a lot of these either. So we're just gonna see what we know mm -hmm. um, and just have fun with it, right? Mm -hmm. So these are 28 car phrases and terms that you need to know. I'll ask you what you think it is, oh, what okay. you think it means, and then I will say what I think it means. Some of them I don't. All right, ready? Number one. Unicorn. <laughs> is it this thing? <laughs> that's part of my intake. Yeah, that's what it is. That's close. Unicorn. It's not a part of a car, I don't think. It could be, actually. From what I understand, unicorn means a car that is very, very rare. A, a Nissan, one of the 90s Nissan Skyline GTRs. Hand, right hand drive would have been considered a unicorn in the United States. Interesting. I guess Bugatti Veyrons would be unicorns. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Pretend that's one of them. That's cool. Number two. <laughs> Blown. Okay. Um, Keep your mind out of the gutter. It's when you press the throttle and go super fast. And it's blown through the intake. Okay, that that is... Partially correct, actually. Um, this could have multiple terms, and I could be just wrong with this, but I believe blown means forced induction. Mm, mm -hmm. Like either a supercharger or turbocharger, something that forces more air into the engine to equal more combustion. It could also mean someone blew their engine, like, ah, oh, my engine's blown. Number three. Oh, I'm excited. Is it upside down yes. again? A, B, C, pillars. A, B, and C, pillars. Like, where are there pillars in a car? What the heck, A, B, C, pillars? Is it in the hood of a car? Oh, you're gonna play this game. No, it's not. It's not? No. Is it under the car? No. Connected to? No. Is it in the car? <laughs> Harshly and partially not. You're so close, come on, you got this. This is me in school. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's, it's kind of hard to describe without showing a it's picture. It's like connected. Look at right here. Look out on the screen. Mm -hmm. This is the A pillar that connects the roof to. Yeah, that's right what I meant. The thing that connects the siding of the car like this. If you can see this, this mm -hmm. is a B pillar. Then C pillars mm -hmm. here. All right. Number four. Betting the brakes. Betting the brakes. Does that mean the like when you break, it beds the wheel. But it, when you when you break, <laughs> this is the wheel. This is the brake. Is that bedding? Like when it comes in contact with it? Yeah. I think it has to do with how the brakes aren't as grippy when they're brand new, and when you bed them, it like takes off that first layer of the brakes and yeah, that makes sense. And it becomes more like. Grabby cool. adhesive, I think. Let me look this up That's real quick. Cool. Bedding in your brakes is just an industry term to explain braking in your new brakes. Okay, yeah. Oh, but in this case, you can't have two brakes in one sentence, so they replace brake with bedding. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. I think this is five. 
I don't remember. <laughs> Let's go with five. Big block and small block. All right, what do you think that means? I need to like look at a car. Okay. <laughs> it has to do with the engine. And I have no idea if it's looking at small block stage one and big block stage two. That's so freaking cute. <laughs> and this is another one I'm not 100% sure on either because there's no clear definition of either of these online. From what I gather, and please, people watching this tell me if I'm wrong, these are relative to the engines offered in different trim levels of certain cars. So for instance, say, you could get a 1.8 liter in a Volkswagen. And then with the high performance model, you could get a two liter. The two liter would be the big block and then 1.8 would be the small block. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, these terms are, are synonymous with, with uh, Chevy engines, like GM engines. And historically, big block is, is over 400 cubic inches. But again, I think it's all relative to the manufacturer and the application. I already forget what it is. <laughs> 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 what number is this? Is this six? It's either six or seven. Six and a half. Boosted launch! I think I know what this is. What is this? So you're already... Okay, hold on. I need to think before mm -hmm. I speak. Mm -hmm. Just kidding, I don't know what it is. I always know that you say it, though. The turbo is going super freaking fast at first. That's really close. I've heard this used in both naturally aspirated and forced induction uh, scenarios. I think the real term means to build up boost from your turbo, as in like, it's when you put your foot on the brake yeah. oh. and then put your foot on the gas, trying to build up that boost from exhaust gases in the turbo. That uh, sounds dangerous. <laughs> maybe it is. So when you take your foot off the brake, and you gotta launch the car, it's already building that boost in the turbo and it doesn't, the turbo doesn't have to spool up. So it's a boosted launch, just in you already have boost built. I've also heard this, like I said, naturally aspirated scenarios uh, and it's just kind of mm -hmm. getting getting your RPM up into that torque. Mm -hmm. So you're already right there in that where the engine's making power. Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna throw up from this, I swear to God. This is like, I, just, I feel like it's curdling. <laughs> okay, number seven. Boosted. What does boosted mean, Sam? Boosted means the RPMs are all the way up as soon as you go. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny and you're almost right. More air is flowing through the engine? Yes! Ah! <laughs> all right, let's just go with that. Let's just go with that. Number eight. What? It's an acronym, so don't, okay. oh. don't pronounce it as like Kai, Sai. This isn't like a widely used acronym or anything. Like not, it's not used in speech. It's usually used in text, like in forums and stuff. Calibrated alternative intake. <gasps> Did I? It's cold air intake. <laughs> oh, the unicorn. Oh. The unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Chopped. Is it when you miss a ship? That's actually a really cool usage of that. And <laughs> I think we should start doing that. Oh, I just chopped the gear. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not. What? Chopped is actually a good term. I think the way I'm thinking of using this is a good good way to use it. But on the channel Mighty Car Mods, when you like completely smoke someone in a drag race, and you say, oh, it's chopped them. Oh. Chopped, I think. I think. It's always when your engine goes, bup, 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 bup. chop, 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 I might not be right with this one. Maybe it's like a, a whatever. Please keep that in. <laughs> 10. Number 10. Decked. Yo, decked. Bro. Decked. <laughs> anyway, what do you think decked means? I heard you use this. Actively. I don't think I've ever used this word. Oh, then I probably don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> is it when you beat someone else in a race? Uh, totally. Like dead. wrecked, almost. <laughs> yeah. Wrecked. Yeah. So what I, I think what it means again, I'm not sure about this one. Is it's like a like a bodywork turn, like when you take off okay. all the extra bits. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that is what it is, but it, it is. I think to deck, to get decked is to hit or be hit viciously hard without mercy. Wait, no. What does this say? 
drop head? Is that when you drop like a like a screw when you're fixing a car? And you call someone a drop head when they do that? No, you drop a wrench or something. You're like, bro, I just drop headed that wrench. <laughs> <laughs> If that's the case, then I drop head all the time. <laughs> We're cool. Actual We're cool. tears. <laughs> drop head is when um, the whole front <laughs> axle isn't there. <laughs> so the front of the car, the head drops. The front axle isn't there? I'm actually not positive what this is. Again, this, I, all right. So I think this is when cars are custom made for Peter Dinklage. Uh, and uh, they chop the roof down so it fits shorter people. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Dump the clutch, bro! What does that mean? Dump the clutch! Bro! But like romantically. You shift without the clutch? Come on, you got this. I do. You go from one to six <laughs> immediately. <laughs> the car goes up in flames. <laughs> the car goes up. <laughs> That's another term for people that drive automatic and they used to drive manual hell yeah <laughs> they dumped the clutch yeah girl is that no way. it should be it and should let's start be. using that right now the rpms aren't moving <clears throat> the car's not moving you're at a standstill you have your foot in on the clutch and you got your foot on the gas so the rpm is going up in one swift motion take your foot off the clutch that's dumping the clutch mm. wow i didn't know that Okay, what does this say? A frat cannon. What? <laughs> I, I, is that when like, is that like when it's when a fraternity has a cannon in their house? I can think of so many definitions for a frat cannon, but what this is supposed to say is fart cannon. What on earth? What do you think a fart cannon is? Fart cannon. All I can think about is frat cannon. Cannon. <laughs> Fart can fart cannon is like a huge exhaust in the back of I don't mean to stereotype here, but typically Honda Civics uh, that that are that are used to make the car sound louder than they should sound and sound sportier than they like, are. <laughs> like like why would you do that? Okay. <sighs> Next. <laughs> Royal flush. Here's a clue. Don't think of it like flushing a toilet. Think of it okay, like so something that close to something bit. else, like flush to something. That helps me a little bit because I was going to say something about the exhaust being flushed. I think what flush is, is um, when a car is sitting pretty low and there's not a lot of wheel well gap. And, and so the wheels and tires look like they're flush up against the fenders. Oh, wait, so that's what you call cars that are really close to the floor? No. <laughs> okay. What? what is this? Gap. Like thigh gap? Yeah. Then it must be the gap in between the wheel and the body style of the car. <laughs> gap is kind of like chopped. Oh, I thought you said, yeah. No. <laughs> So like the farther the leading, like in a race, the farther the car is in front of the other car, it's like the gap is increasing. Like, yo, bro, you just got gapped. You just got gapped. You just got chopped. Chopped. I, I think. <laughs> what is this one? Granny shifting. I shift really slow because I'm a beginner. It's close. Usually granny shifting is done when there aren't synchronizers in between gears, which which allows the gear to slide right into the next position. So you push in the clutch, put it in like in neutral, take your foot out of the clutch, push it back in, then shift it into gear. If, if you guys want to know what granny shifting is, just look it up, I can't. Okay. What is this? <laughs> what is that? Who means? Who means? Car. I'll give you a hint. It's kind of person. A hoon is a person that owns every single Honda. <laughs> a hoonda? From what I understand, hoon means a crazy driver. A hoon, their escape from life is driving. All right. You know what this one is. Me. Sleeper. <laughs> um, a sleeper is someone that goes really slow on the road and 
causes problems because they're going too slow. That's not what it is. I love that though. Um, Sleeper is a car that doesn't look like it has much performance in there, but the it, it actually does. Really cool because he fools people. <laughs> Slammed, bro! This is describing a car. It has all of the updated modifications or it has a bunch of modifications? Kinda. Yeah, uh, that's close enough. I think slammed, it's usually describing a heavily modified car that is lowered a lot. Mm -hmm. it's, it looks like it's almost scraping the ground, like it's slammed against the ground, mm -hmm. I think. If that's the name, I'm gonna be referring to a lot of cars like that because I've always been like, whoa, that's so... Yo, that hoopty is hashtag slammed. That is so low. Yo, that ground. frat cannon hoopty is slammed. Roller. A car with wheels. A really, really, really high-end car that... Like a Rolls Royce? Yeah. I think they call them rollers, right? I get maybe this has multiple meanings. The one I'm thinking of is uh, roller is usually describing a car for sale that can't move under its own power. Oh. Yeah, buying a car for its pots. Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> Oversteer and understeer. Visit right. my column, autotrader.com slash oversteer. <laughs> oversteer is when you're driving and then you turn, like you're banging a Yui, and then you like overturn the Yui and you start going into the guardrail. Or under, turn, under steers when you're banging a Yui, but you don't do it all the way, so you go all the, all, over on the other side. I can't tell you how freaking close that is to being real. real. How is that not it? I'm very interested. Because bang in a Yui is clearly a New England term. Oversteer is when you're going into a turn. And really then you hard. end up banging a Yui. And it's when the back end starts to slip out. Oh, like vroom, 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 vroom. Sure. And then understeer would be like, so it doesn't turn as far as you think it's going to. You should know this. Because Slicks. Her, her father was a drag racer. He raced a 69 Dodge Dart. I drove a 69 Dodge Dart. Dodge Dart with Wait. the four on the floor. Is it a part? It is referring to a part of the car, yeah. Brakes, wheels, <gasps> the type of wheels. Wheels that have no threading. <gasps> yeah, well that's pretty much it, girl. Uh, slicks are wheels without any tread that maximize grip in, in dry conditions. Uh, and usually they're really mm -hmm. thick sidewall and rubber in the back. <laughs> yeah, your dad knows all about that. Slip angle. You're like, vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, I have no idea what this means. <laughs> vroom, vroom, vroom. Slip angle. You're like, okay, I'm taking a right. It is the angle between the direction in which the wheel is pointing and the direction in which it is actually traveling. Yes! That's what I was explaining, wasn't I? Vroom, 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 vroom. She's had enough to drink. Okay, no, <laughs> I got that one right. Uh, Through a code, I know what that is. What, which one were we, ow, which one were we, ow. Okay, so. Through a code. Oh. <laughs> it's when your check engine light comes on and, oh wait, is that it? Is that? like what you're looking for pretty much yeah or is it when you put you plug in the fixed <laughs> thing and it throws you the code onto the app on the phone and that reminds me it's thank you for fixed for sponsoring this video thank you that for sponsoring. is so funny it's your engine it's basically the engine light a fault code and you have an obd2 scanner that reads yeah. what code it is <laughs> i personally never understood this term through code i'm like yeah, that's why you it- catch it? Like- That's why it- Like, why can't it be like, pop the code? Why through a code? Anyway, that's okay. exactly what it means, girl. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> Throttle blip? Throttle blip, okay. Throttle. You know what this is. You know what this is. I taught you how to drive stick. Oh, it's that little- When you're driving stick and you feel the throttle, like, catch. Feel the clutch? Oh, shoot, that's, that's no, that's not what clutch. it is. Um, throttle blip is when you are downshifting and you're trying to match the RPM. Oh, so that's what that's called. Give it a little bit of gas, a little uh, throttle blip. 
he taught me how to do this and I actually did it. Yes. All right. Is this the last one? It is. I'm, a, I'm emo. Yeah, this one has multiple meanings. Tuner, like you tune your engine. Tuner. What is a tuner? It makes it right. It makes it better. That's <laughs> <laughs> what a tuner does, it makes it better. Couple, couple definitions. One can be used as describing a person who is really into tuning the, the ECU of their car and people describe them as tuners. A tuner can also be the actual like physical tuner that, ha that holds your tunes and you plug mm -hmm. into your car. Everyone give a round of applause to Samantha for guessing as to what all these things are. I had so much fun. <laughs> I commend it. I originally said these were gonna come out every thir every first Thursday of the month, and then they weren't ever popular on my channel, so I was like, screw it, but you know what, this is kind of fun. This so. is so fun. <laughs> Feel free to check out any of the other videos on my channel and check out Samantha's channel thing right here. She, we're gonna put right here. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe. If you didn't like the video, feel free to unsubscribe. <laughs> Next video is gonna be an Audi S6 review. Let's just uh, let's just sit here while I have some recommended videos. That's cool. Subscribe. YouTube thinks you'll like this one here. Uh, this one's really freaking cool. Um, that's another uh, Thirsty Thursday video there, where I talk about. That one was funny. Family cars and stuff. Every. Um, you have some options. Got some options. Go so for it. Go for it, girl.